If you do not want to add in subdivisions onto your material, you can use something called sub poly displacement. So to do that, I'm going to bring in a regular object right here and let me just uh, drag it up right on to the bottom right here so that it is lined up. Okay, so I chose the wrong area. I'm just going to go to the front view just like this, align it right on to the center on the floor just like that. All right, so what I want to do is I want to add in a texture here. So I'm going to drag a material and I'm going to drag the material onto the object and now i'm going to select the material right there so i'm going to go to the material right here i'm going to add in a texture so i'm going to click here and then i'm going to bring in this texture right here which is the brick texture so i'm just going to open this out and you can see that that has been applied let me convert this into a polygon right here so i'm going to press uh, c and then it is it gets converted into polygon let me just resize this out so over here the only the texture has been applied there's no displacement whatsoever so now this there's only one polygon over here in each side so what i want to do is i want the displacement map to uh, create its own sub polygon so i'm going to select this out and then i'm going to uh, select the material right here and I'm going to go to the basic and I'm going to enable displacement. Once I go to the displacement, you can see that I can choose the texture. So I'm going to go to the color. I'm going to copy the texture right here. So I'm going to copy the shader. I'm going to go into displacement and over here in the text menu, I'm going to paste the shader. And since for this black and white uh, shaders actually work well, so I'm going to add in uh, a filter right here and then I'm going to go inside the filter, then decrease the saturation right there to make it black and white. So I'm just going to increase the brightness as well, maybe a bit of a contrast so that the, the displacement map is seen. Right now, nothing is there. And if I were to press Control R, uh, you can see that the, there's no displacement happening whatsoever. So in the basic uh, of the shader itself, so I'm going to go over here, and over here itself on the displacement setting, you can see on the bottom there's something called sub polygon displacement. So it actually creates a sub polygon for me to displace it. So I turn that on, let me press Control R and let's see what happens. So it actually created polygons for me so that it can displace the object for me. So this is not working out quite great as you can see. So I'm just going to increase the subdivision level. So I'm going to add in to something like six, press Control R and you can see that the subdivision displacement is happening. So that's still not really that great. So I'm just going to increase the subdivision for a bit more detail. I don't want it too high because that makes it harder for me to render it. You can see that everything in is pointy right now. So it's not actually look, looking like a brick. This is not a, what I want. So I want to blur it out a bit just like this. So I, don't, I do want to blur this out. So I'm going to go into the texture itself and then so over here, there's light dress uh, and everything else. Let me just go here. Okay, I just need to go back over here and then increase the blurriness level. So let's see how that looks now. So once I increase the blur, you can see that now the texture is uh, closer to what I want. So I'm just going to increase the blur level and I can also increase the blur scale right here. Just control R and there you go. You can see that the displacement is much more natural now. So if I were to go over here, you can see that the displacement is happening, but it's very, very subtle, just like this. So I'm just going to decrease this out. I don't want too much of an offset right here. I do not want such a level of mapping. So I'm going to go to the shader itself. Maybe I want to decrease the contrast a bit, which controls the bump map level. So you can see that it is quite less now. So let me just decrease the contrast over here. Let me press Control R again to see how that looks out. Yeah, much more shuttle and much more what I uh, want. So you can see that that is much more natural and the bump map is working well. And for this, we did not need to add in any subdivisions or had to work with subdivision surfaces at all. The sub poly division did it everything for us. So this is how you can use sub poly displacement to create detailed um, objects without using any sub manual um, subdivisions. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.